Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed how I do my eyebrows. Do you know that's one of the most searched things about me? X Tweely eyebrows. My eyebrows are tattooed, but I do have to correct them because they're faded. I do have to cover up my old eyebrow tattoo shape. So if you guys want to see how I do my eyebrows, please keep watching. My eyebrows, honestly, they're like the bane of my life. They drive me crazy. It's like the least favourite step that I do on my face routine because I can't have fun with them. This is the shape I'm stuck with. I had my eyebrows done ever since I was like 15. As you guys can see, I have an old eyebrow shape here that I'm in the process of getting removed. So I've had two sessions so far. So it's go lighter lighter slowly so for now i just have to cover it up with makeup let's get started so as you guys can see i don't have anything on there at the moment i'm going to show you my top products that i use on my eyebrows i love this product from benefit it's called precisely my brow in the shade four and i really like it because it's super super fine so i used to love anastasia beverly hills brow wiz but i found for me personally because i don't have a lot of hair i found it was a bit too waxy this is not as waxy it gives more color payoff which is what i need personally because if you've got quite a lot of hair then that's when you want a waxy brow pencil but for me i don't have that much hair i have hair just slightly in the front but all the hairs here and underneath i pluck them all out i don't like my eyebrows to be really blocky at all it looks it's quite blocky here but I like the front to be quite faded and a bit more ombre that's just me guys so if you don't like the way I do my eyebrows can you please zip it please because this is tattooed guys this is what I'm stuck with all right <laughs> so you guys can see that my eyebrows they're all faded I've done my foundation so it's gone a bit murky sometimes I do my brows before my foundation but it just totally depends on the day and how much time I have so you guys can see that it's all like murky and faded so what we want to do is want to redefine the shape and get it really nice and crisp so I'm using them precisely in my brow and I just use a little pinky finger and I rest on top of my cheekbone and I'm just kind of drawing in the bottom line and I literally just follow my natural tattoo shape can you guys see it's just a literally a line underneath and then I do exactly the same for the top and I always go and brush inward I don't start from here and then brush here for this bit I want it to be really soft and faded so it will never be like a draw from here all the way down I will start from like midway here and then I'll fade it downward the same for on top if you use your pencil you want your eyebrows to start just where your nostril is and if you look straight you want it to start to arch just where your eyeball is just there and then you want it to end just at the corner of your eye so that's a perfect way to get the the best shape if you guys haven't got a lot of eyebrows definitely use that method is that like the arch method everybody uses it and that's the best way to get the perfect eyebrow and then i just go down so i want my eyebrows to be quite arched and really nice and defined you can guys see i literally just follow my natural shape here what i find i need i need to kind of fill this in just a bit closer and then just with my pencil i just literally fill in lightly just on the outer corners of my eyebrows i just fill that in lightly with the pencil and then in here we're going to use a powder see the difference it looks more defined less defined okay i just done quickly both eyebrows i'm gonna go in with an eyebrow duo next this is from mac and this is in the color called brunette and i say you have beverly hills do one that's really really nice i love the one in dark brown that's my favorite but it's in my kit at the moment but i'm loving this one from matte so you want to make sure you choose any type of eyeshadow you want to make sure it's matte um, and anything that's quite cool tone obviously depending on your hair color so i like this because it has two eyebrow colors one that's a bit darker to fill in the outer corners and then at the front i use this color here so there's people in my house at the moment and it's all fucking shouting and everything in the background so don't mind my crazy vietnamese family i'm gonna use this eyelid duo ended brush it has a really nice spoolie at the back and then a really nice angle quite slim at the front and i'm gonna go in with this darker shade here and i'm just gonna slightly start to fill in i like powder because i feel it's a lot more natural now that we've got the outer lines i can really just lightly fill it in and I kind of just bring the color in just about three quarters away and I leave this front bit because we're going to use the lighter color there so you want to fill in all this bit with powder and I find because our eyebrows get really really shiny this is the best way so I used to use the dip brow pomade but I found that was really um shiny and my skin got oily so I found powders a bit better and it's a bit more softer so you guys can see I'm just doing like short little dashes like this I'm not doing like big harsh lines at all okay and then just at the front I'm going to go in with the lighter shade here okay and then just at the front i use a lighter shade and i literally just really really lightly flickering this shade and because it's lighter it's not going to go on too dark at all it's going to give you that soft ombre effect this is how you get the ombre eyebrow guys when you do like a lighter color at the front and even though the color in the pan is so light but when you put it on the eyebrow it just gives that soft light tint to the brow lightly do light strokes guys light light strokes so this is the effect you get when you just use a angled brush you can kind of see it's starting to fade 
fade at the front but you can still see that little like lines like kind of see this like little jiggity jaggedy lines so what you want to do is you want to go in with any blending brush this is from morphe the e17 brush but you want something that's quite like fluffy anything like an eyeshadow brush and there's nothing on the brush and what i do is i literally just brush it like this this is like the little secret that I have so it doesn't look too fake and like a square at the front. So I literally just go back and forth and there's nothing on the brush and what it does it just kind of diffuses the powder and any harsh lines to give that soft ombre effect. So this is really good if you want your eyebrows to start looking a bit closer together but you don't want to actually draw like thick lines close together. If you just ombre it slightly together at the front this will make your nose a lot slimmer as well. Just gives the illusion of like it's starting to be light at the front and then it fades into a slightly darker brow. So the final Final step and it's very very important this step is you want to carve out the brows girl yes that's how you get the brows to be like <sighs> so fleeky brows on fleek yes so i'm gonna go in my favorite carving eyebrow brush this is my favorite carving like cut creases any type of carving carving a turkey anything this brush is the one and it's like four pounds like two pounds that's so so cheap it's from crown brushes and it's so old and regular that the brush number is not even here anymore can you see that it's literally like so nice and slim line can cut a bit you know can do some surgery <laughs> with this brush it's so sharp I'm gonna go with my soft matte concealer from NARS in the shade called Custard and then what you want to do is just rest your pinky finger just on here and then just go underneath the brow and just create the, the line first don't worry about blending it yet literally just carve out the shape you guys can see it's just leaving that kind of line just underneath the brow and it's just redefining the brow even though the pencil is so nice and slim you just need to take off the excess powder that's on there excess eyeshadow you want to get that kind of skin tone back just underneath your eyebrows so it's going to give you a nice arc and then what i do is just to get with the line i just go brush downwards brush downwards guys just very very lightly nothing on the brush and i pick up a very small amount of concealer but can you guys see the difference like here it just looks all nice and clean and light skin color again and then this is all kind of like murky it just gives it that kind of lift back to your brow what i also do as well if you've got a concealer brush like this and it's quite like fat what you do is get concealer on it and then use your finger and i just mold the brush like this really really pinch it so it's really really sharp because otherwise sometimes if you push the concealer down the concealer brush will spare out and you want this to be as sharp as possible so i literally just mold the brush like and then when you go in it just gets it really nice and sharp the line tweeze tips guys <laughs> <laughs> so I'm literally just going underneath and I just create the line first and also this will help if you've got any old eyebrow hairs that you haven't bothered to pluck this will help kind of get your shape back until your next eyebrow appointment okay so now I'm just literally pulling down my brush slightly lower and this is how you kind of blend it out without fading out that line if I want it to be a bit sharper I'll just go on top okay so as you guys can see my old eyebrow tattoo we need to cover that up so we need to use a bit of color correction there what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in my tart shape tape can you guys see it's a bit more like that peachy pinky color it's not as yellow based and this is a very long wearing product so you can't see that the eyebrows start to peep through throughout the day and it's super full coverage i'm going to pick some on my brush you don't want nothing too orangey because then it'll be so so obvious and just something that with a slight more of a peachy undertone and then what i do is i kind of flip my hand around rest my pinky finger and we want to sweep downwards you see that covered it right up that tart shape tape so good so you want to make sure you pick something that's kind of similar to your skin tone as much as possible this bit you cannot have any lighter than your skin tone it needs to match your skin tone exactly and then just at the front of my eyebrows i'm just going to go in with anastasia beverly heels clear brow gel and i just literally brush my hairs at the front just to get it as fluffy looking as I can and sometimes I have hairs that kind of stick downwards because I have like Asian hair and I don't want it to stick down because then it'll make my eyebrow not look as clean so I'll brush it kind of upwards alright guys so that's it for my brow tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it and learnt something new I know the freaking struggle of getting your eyebrows done you don't like the shape and blah 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 it's just so much hassle but as long as we have makeup we can conquer the world honey if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button it really really helps me out comment down below what else you want to see from me I want to do more snappy tutorials like this so make sure you comment down below make sure to hit the notification bell and the subscribe button before you leave and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys and stuff be quiet it's not me brother be quiet because please the fuck apparently it's hay fever season guys i get such bad hay fever <laughs> what are you doing calls toilet break hurry up i'm not coming back good i'm very bomb man I thought you wasn't coming back! Did I have a bomb man? Sit back in your cave and edit. Great. Back to work like little factory worker.
factory worker. Dinner time! I smell food! Get out of here. Bye! There'll be no chicken wings left. Bye! Ah! Let me quickly shoot the thumbnail before I forget again, fuck! My food is ready! I'm fucking so angry at this Vietnamese family. They hear the chicken wing, they're like, what?